These are the times when things got seriously heated on MasterChef. Like that time when a contestant really pushed Ramsey's buttons and made the culinary genius lose his mind. I'm gonna kind of put some cheese inside this too, so hopefully the cheese melts as it's cooking. I want to so wrap it in. cheese inside the meatloaf. I was thinking about it. I might not anymore. Ramsey was on the verge of losing it and wanted to smack the hell out of him, but thankfully he held himself back just in time. So in the second episode of season five, the contestants faced the mystery box challenge. They only had 90 minutes to cook with the surprise ingredients that were hidden under the box. Let's quickly take a look at what they found. Chocolate, bananas, strawberries, blueberries, brandy. But here's the kicker. For those who didn't know jack about baking, this challenge turned into their worst nightmare. And let me tell you, this challenge was unlike any other because at the end, someone was gonna get the boot. Not long after, it was time for the judges to try and find out which dish stood out from the rest. It was a crazy intense 90 minutes, and some of the dishes were mind-blowing. When it was time for Joshua Cutter Brewer and Astrid Lavenia to present their creations, Cutter thought he had a shot at nailing the challenge, but nobody expected this. We also wanna see the dishes from another two home cooks. Surprisingly, the judges also wanted to see what Courtney LaPressi and Willie Mike cooked up. Strange, right? Now, Big Willie didn't think highly of Courtney's baking skills, and since they were called up together, his confidence took a major hit. At that point, four home cooks stood in front of the judges, but the judges had something up their sleeve. Two of you are in contention for the worst dish. What a twist. I'm sure nobody saw that coming. Two of them were battling for the worst dish, while the other two were fighting for the best. And guess who ended up at the bottom of the barrel? The two worst dishes belong to... Cutter and Astrid. Wow, Cutter and Astrid. Didn't see that coming, huh? Cut to the time the worst dish among the two is revealed, and ultimately, who was on the chopping block? Cutter shook his head, saying it couldn't be him, because it was his first time making something like that. But damn, he was 100% sure it tasted good. It's the first time I've ever tried something like this, man. I thought I did damn good on it. Anyway, Ramsey called him up to have a taste. Cutter had whipped up a cappuccino with coffee pudding, vanilla whipped cream, and some caramel and cinnamon on top. And you won't believe what happened next. Do you know what hurts me? A proper kicking. Cutter had the audacity to make the Master Chef logo as a tribute, but man, it really pissed Ramsey off. And you gotta see his reaction for yourself. You stuck a Master Chef logo. So Ramsey took a bite, and let me tell you, it was straight up disgusting didn't even come close to looking like a dessert. That's when good old Joe Bostinich stepped in and started explaining what biscotti is all about. Bis means twice, cotti means cooked. So I flipped it. No, you would, normally you would cut these and then individually bake them again. He made it crystal clear to everyone that they were in a freaking master chef kitchen. He was so pissed that he warned everyone to watch out. We're here to distinguish who has a future in this kitchen and who doesn't? Now, that was a major letdown. What happened was, Cutter was more concerned about getting props for his MasterChef logo, but he forgot that the judgment was all about taste and presentation. But now, let's switch gears and talk about this contestant whose leadership enraged Ramsey to the core. So, in episode seven of season four, the final 16 home cooks were gathered at the city hall in Pasadena, California. This time, they had to cook for a bunch of off-duty firefighters, true American heroes. The challenge was to serve a 10 ounce New York strip steak from Walmart. This beef was legit, certified by the USDA, and only one out of the five steaks made the cut to be called Walmart Choice Premium Beef. But wait, there's more. They had to whip up two side dishes using fresh produce, also from Walmart. And, of course, a killer sauce had to accompany that steak. 
The contestants had an hour and a half to cook up some mind-blowing plates for the firefighters. And this wasn't an ordinary buffet. It was a full-on banquet, with waiters treating those heroes like royalty. In 90 minutes, one team would emerge as the winner, while the other would face a wicked pressure test. While the red team brainstormed and planned their menu together, Bethy took charge in the blue kitchen, deciding to call all the shots. Bethy decided on potatoes with red peppers and to add either a chimichurri or a balsamic reduction sauce to go with the steak. But hold up, they hadn't even decided which sauce they were going to focus on. Just then, Ramsey came to check in on them, and what he saw left him shocked. There's only want one sauce. I mean, I've never heard any so ridiculous all my life. Just one stunning sauce. He was furious that they were wasting their time and ingredients making two sauces instead of focusing on one. Ramsey called Bethy over, demanding an explanation. And guess what she said? I'm debating between two sauces. Okay, so you don't know what you're doing. She was actually going back and forth between the two sauces, wasting everyone's damn time. Ramsey was ready to explode. But Bethy couldn't care less and completely ignored his advice. Bethy, I'm talking to you. No. I promise you it's going to be one stunning sauce. Finally, Bethy promised to go with one sauce. And here I was hoping that she'd deliver. But hold up. Ramsey spotted a major problem on the blue team that could totally screw them over in the challenge. Wondering what it was? Check this out. There's not even a steak served yet. Wow. How clueless can they be? They hadn't even started yet. But the drama didn't stop there. Once the guests arrived, the blue team had already started serving while the red team struggled like a bunch of amateurs. But here's the kicker. The red team made some stupid mistakes, like sending out a plate without one of the most crucial ingredients. I'm missing something what? on mine. But you didn't get any of the chimichurri sauce. All right, hold on a second. Let me go get you some. How could they forget to serve the sauce? Seeing this, Joe completely lost it and schooled the blue team to get their act together. The blue team were the first to finish service, but that didn't mean anything. It was up to the firefighters to decide which team served the best dish. And guess what? With 68 out of the 101 votes, Bethy and her team crushed the challenge. After the rocky start they had, I never expected the blue team to snatch the W. Well, the pressure's on when you gotta serve VIPs, I guess. Now, let me tell you about the 12th episode of season four, when Ramsey invited two special guests to dine in. But that's not all. Ramsey had a bombshell to drop. And let me tell you, it left everyone shocked. But we're not done yet. The bride had a surprise of her own in store. That is your list. This is Hold the on. list. These are my dislikes. No peanuts, no beets, no radishes, no celery root, no fennel. OK, let me be honest. If I had a list of no-goes that long, I'd be running for the door. But I guess that's why they're on MasterChef, and I'm not. Either way, this challenge was going to be tough. The home cooks had to make two entrees, one meaty and one veggie. They had to be nothing short of mind-blowing, though. In order to stand up to the epic appetizer and dessert made by Graham Elliott and Gordon Ramsay themselves, with over 100 guests to serve, including 15 vegetarians, the pressure was on. The blue team started strong while the red team struggled. But the tables turned, and soon the blue team found themselves making some dumb decisions. The blue team is ready to go. Please send it. You can send this to the... Uh, to no, the you table. cannot send this! Ramsey was pissed with the delay, as time was ticking and two tables were waiting for the blue team's entrees. Finally, the blue team picked up the pace, and their lamb was on its way to the dining room. Lin Chi, in danger of losing the first team challenge, was feeling the heat. And that's when Ramsey stopped him in his tracks to give him a piece of his mind. You're sweating on the food. Okay, young man, I know it's hard. You cannot sweat. This big dude was sweating buckets, and Ramsey wasn't going to let that slide, which is why he did this. No way. No way. The team had to start from scratch, because hygiene wasn't something to mess with. Just when things couldn't get any crazier, Judge Joe dropped some news on Ramsey. The whole wedding party is going to eat the red team's dishes, and no one's going to even taste the blue team. Yep. The blue team's diners had no food on their tables whatsoever. The guests even threatened to leave, but Ramsey was done holding back. 
just as the blue team struggled to catch up, something happened. Lynn, he's down. The chef, you're wiping for it again, and you're wiping the plates. Yeah, he used the same cloth to wipe down the plates and his sweaty face. That's just nasty. I mean, what was he thinking? At this point, Ramsey was done. The blue team couldn't get a single dish out of the kitchen, and I can't even begin to describe how pissed Ramsey was. By the time they bounced back, it was already too late. The red team had sealed the deal. That aside, have you seen this episode where two pairs of super friendly contestants had to team up and compete against the other teams? Well, instead of becoming a dream team, they became each other's worst nightmare. So, in the 10th episode of season 9, the top 15 home cooks had to team up to tackle a new challenge. They had to work in pairs, which could be cool, but could also be a recipe for disaster. Fortunately, they could choose their own partner. During the challenge, they had to use chicken, carrots, onion, bacon, and cornmeal to create a dish in just 45 minutes, and they had access to the pantry to take things up a notch. Ashley Mincy and Taylor Waltman ended up being partners, and they were pretty pumped up about it. They brainstormed and decided on what they were going to make with the ingredients, but something had Ramsey worried. I think personally, they're too friendly. They might not want to say that tough thing to one another. Or correct one another. Exactly. That's what I'm worried about. Yeah, being friends can sometimes be challenging. Ramsey thought they might not call each other out on their mistakes, but hey, it's a competition, so let's see how long the friendship lasts. When Ramsey went over to check on Ashley and Taylor, he definitely wasn't pleased with what he saw. He straight up called it ridiculous and asked Ashley what the hell she was thinking. How do you think she responded? Well, take a look at this. I've never done it before, Chef. I wanted to taste it first. Why are you doing things testing them? They've never tasted before. Apparently, she was just experimenting. Seriously, girl, this is a master chef kitchen, not a test kitchen. Ramsay had to knock some sense into her. Just then, something caught Ramsay's eye and left him in utter shock. Both Ashley and Taylor were frozen like deer in headlights. Finally, Ashley admitted it was her fault, and Ramsey was beyond upset. He let them know how ridiculous what they were doing was, and that was the moment when tensions started rising between them. At an angle, at an angle. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Here, then you go. Okay. Ramsey's disappointment was palpable. But the time soon came to judge the dishes. Ashley and Taylor presented some fancy sounding dish with pan seared chicken, sauteed carrots and bacon, and cornbread cake. But Ramsey didn't hold back with his critique. First of all, I had never ever seen such a dysfunctional 45 minutes in the history of this competition. He called them out on being dysfunctional and demanded to know what went wrong. And just like that, they started arguing and blaming each other instead of owning up to their own mistakes. Ramsey had enough of their nonsense by that point. But how did their dish taste? Well, Ramsey's reaction will tell you all you need to know. Seriously? The cornbread is dry, it's crumbly, and out of all those carrots, that's what I've got. But the blame game didn't stop there. Needless to say, they were both super embarrassed for letting down their mentor, Gordon Ramsay, who had handpicked them. And Ramsay didn't take it well either. But moving on, let me tell you about this next contestant who really got on the judge's last nerve. In the seventh episode of season two, the challenge was all about inspiration and creativity. This was their second mystery box challenge, where the ingredients were hidden under the boxes. But here's the catch. Only the top three dishes would be tasted by the judges. After 60 intense minutes were up, the judges were about to start calling up the best dishes for tasting. But before that, Ramsey had something to say about a particular contestant. And to make things worse, this is what happened. This I have to make a point of, because this is not even about cooking, about technique. This is a complete disaster. You might be wondering, what was the deal with her food? Well, Joe had this to say. This lamb is raw, is completely raw. Joe couldn't hold back his frustration and there is no way he would have let this slide. You take this thing and you cut it in half, it would be dangerous to serve a piece of lamb like this to a judge. And I totally agree with him. Making a mistake like that in a master chef kitchen is a serious deal. And Joe made sure to drive that point home. 
We're here to judge this thing. We're watching you cook. We're not idiots. Well, those were some of the moments the judges were at their angriest on MasterChef. But if you think I missed your favorite moment, let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, and turn on my post notifications. And if you thought this video was crazy, check out this post right here. It's even crazier.